shout out to you all that's listening to us on the air right now. The Saturday special. Got Mike Simmons up in the house. What's going on? What's, What's going up, on, man? AC? What's good? What up? Man, just chilling, man. Just chilling. Man, I've been waiting for this day to come, man, for us to tell our story of making this documentary movie, uh, The Black History Story. Um, you know, I directed, produced it. Wear a lot of hats in the film. And, you know, Mike Sims, he produced the film and did some writing. And, uh, you know, you pretty much did your thing. You know, and uh, shout out to the people that were involved in the movie. Definitely. Most definitely. You know, shout out to A Son the Great. Yes. Shout out to LC. Shout out to Star Lachey. Shout out to Keenan Chapman. And shout out to uh, Goofy Scott, Ben Caldwell. And uh, a few other people that um, really gave their contribution and, and participating in this movie. So uh, it was a it was a good experience, you know. And uh, just putting this thing here together it took us a year to do this movie, and uh, we released the film out on Amazon.com. So you can order the documentary film at uh, EthicRecordFilms.com. Uh, also, we will be doing a free DVD contest. So um, keep listening and keep tuning in and you get to call in on the air and uh, talk with us. So, um, so Mike, what's up, man? Give us your take, man. You know, let the listeners know who you are and what's up, man. You over there quiet in the cut, man. I'm just over here, you know. <laughs> hey, I'm just, just uh, trying to let you set the table, man. It's all good. Hey, so uh, what's going on, folks? This is Mike Simmons. Uh, I was one of the producers and one of the writers and the uh, and the narrator for the, for the Black History Story. And, um, you know, I've been a journalist since uh, I guess officially since the ninth grade. Um, and I've always had I had a passion for 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 history. I love history. Um, I, I love breaking it down and uh when ac just asked me to uh, be a part of this project man i, I had to jump on it because um because it celebrated um a lot of the things a, lo a lot of the lesser known facts that that just aren't taught in the history book so yeah um so it it was an incredible experience um while it did take a year to produce uh i hopped in kind of uh during the second half so so right. um so i was kind of part of that finishing process but um but just from the amount uh of work i did do and and uh just uh, just that second part of that process man like it like i saw um a lot of a lot of growth and yeah. and and yeah. and and just um a lot of work being put into this project like and trust me to anybody who's listening to anybody who is watching right now uh this is a passion project to the max you, you folks have no idea how much it took a lot the, of a lot of pain a lot of pain a lot blood, of hours, sweat time, and tears and everything time, so so uh anybody out there you guys got to check this dvd out it, it is well worth it go to ethicrecordfilms.com right now get your copy because uh it is uh something that absolutely cannot be missed yes yes and you know we we really took our time making this film based off of research absolutely going to the libraries because majority of the stuff that's on the internet is not you know like a hundred percent accurate it's like you have to go to the libraries you have to you know talk with people that that are into uh that whole major of history black history yeah man uh you kind of just hit the nail on the head right there man like yeah. you you could find whatever you want on the internet good or bad true or untrue so right, right. so 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 of course we we had to hit the libraries we had to hit those primary those secondary sources um you know we had to get out and uh, talk to people ac um he reached out to a gentleman by the name of ben caldwell out in lamert park um, and he is just a wealth of knowledge and and he was featured in the movie as well yes um shout out to ben Caldwell. absolutely man absolutely did a fantastic job man, fantastic very amazing job. very amazing uh highly knowledgeable and uh and, and and so the legwork to make that happen uh time consuming 
process but in the end it was so worth it yeah so so worth it oh yeah very worth it man very worth it you know but yeah just like you know in the beginning of the time of uh, making this documentary you know just talking with people at work with um, Chaz Cruz you know um, you know he was talking about some Langston Hughes and I was like damn who is Langston Hughes I didn't you know what I mean so when I did my research on Langston Hughes and um, you know he was a great poet absolutely Harlem New York that's but right. you know up in the cotton club and there was a lot of a lot of things going on at the cotton club back in the 1920s you know a lot of things man uh you had the birth of baby esther esther jones man yeah. like you had had uh you know just a little known fact and, and, and to the listeners out oh, there yeah, that sorry. don't know who baby esther jones is she was the first african-american woman that evented the Betty Boop before it was Betty Boop before they have stolen the image from Esther Jones and called it Betty Boop which is in the documentary film it is in the movie yes, and and yes. uh and, and that we is... even have a newspaper article yes to prove that and we still have that newspaper article to prove that the image of Betty Boop was stolen by baby Esther Jones see it's crazy because just the the notion of of us as as a people you know inventing things us right. us being pioneers um it seems like we don't get proper and due credit and you will and you'll end up seeing that you know that that you know just a few years later you will see people of fair skin people of, of other races and other cultures get uh-huh, uh-huh. get credit um, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, there is a lot of stealing. There is a lot of of um, appropriation mm-hmm. that goes on. Um, they are taking from our culture and profiting off of it. Yeah, and that's exactly what happened and in the case of Betty Boop and Esther Jones. It it it's it's really a shame. And, yeah, it is, and, and it continues on to this day. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, to you listeners out there that are listening, we will be giving away a free DVD. Yes. We will mail it to your house. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's right. And all you got to do is answer this question, but not yet, because we want to let you guys tune in and listen. We're going to entertain you guys with some good music here on an hour. And um, let's see here. I want to cue up some good stuff. And I want to have people's heads bopping, all that good stuff right here. So, we're more than just talk right here on Ethic Radio That's on right. the hour. Black History Story documentary radio special here, you know. But uh, the struggle is real, y'all. And we're going to be here to educate you guys a little bit of what we know about black history. And every day should be black history. Don't, don't you agree? Look. The fact that there is a Black History Month uh, does a disservice to everything we continue to do as a culture. Yes. History is made every single day um, and it should be recognized every single day. Every single day. Every single day. Single day. Let's give an applause right there on Ethic Radio. Have to, man. Had to applaud for that. Have to. Had to applaud. And I also like to thank the people that have been supporting the movie i mean teachers have ordered this film and gave great reviews that it was very educational and that they um showed this film to their students in the classrooms um that really had touched me right there that this film is really getting ahead it's really getting somewhere here just like uh, my father had watched the movie and he said there was a lot of things that we put in this film that he didn't know about. He didn't know that um, vehicles were invented by a black man. And this was before Henry Ford, Frederick Douglass Patterson. That's right. That's right. And if y'all don't believe me, y'all, y'all can look that up. <laughs> Research it. It's right there. Frederick Douglass Patterson. It Like, all this information is out there, but, you know, but you don't see it in the textbooks it's it's all covered and 
I'm not gonna go into some like big conspiracy spiel, but look, the bottom line is is that there is a lot of truth, there is a lot of reality that just is not known. Right. For whatever reason, I will leave you guys to figure out why. But there's a lot of things out there, a lot of things we invented, a lot of, of, of things we came up with that just is not known. And and, yeah. and so it was up to us as we were doing this project to do our own research and, and now we're leaving it up to you yes. don't take our word for it watch the documentary but look do your research look everything up everything we say can be backed up if you just do the research so yes yeah. yes yes so you know what we're going to give these listeners out here a uh, good music break right here and this one right here is produced by Booty Mayfield. Shout out to you, Booty Mayfield. So, uh, you listeners, kick back, listen to this joint, and we're going to come back in just a moment. Right here on Ethic Radio. Ethic Radio. 